Hey guys, alright, so I know I have a different background going on today. I wanted to film a quick video reviewing and demoing the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. So if you are like me and have acne marks, hyperpigmentation, um, just want something to even out your skin tone, then this product might be especially interesting to you. So I wanted to show you guys just how it applies and give you some information about it if this is something that you're thinking you might be interested in trying. So first off, this is an exfoliating mask. It is inspired by nature to reveal your best skin. I'm just looking on their website here and it's formulated with natural pumpkin enzymes and AHA glycolic acid to help improve skin clarity. So let me show you what this looks like. It looks like what you would imagine it to look like, pumpkins. It smells like pumpkin as well. It smells really, really nice. It smells like something you could eat. So this is an exfoliating mask and it is a gentle exfoliating mask. At least I think it is. Um, I guess if you have a really sensitive skin, then maybe it's not like the absolute most gentle thing just because it does have the pumpkin enzymes. I don't know, just maybe not for the most sensitive, sensitive skin, but I still find it to be pretty gentle um, but this is good for really all skin types oily skin combination skin dry skin normal skin whatever normal skin is <laughs> um, and then the pumpkin enzyme mask is meant to exfoliate the skin with AHAs reduce oily skin appearance reduces congested skin to help clear the pores improve dullness and improve skin clarity and skin tone so this does have vitamin C and beta carotene in here which are antioxidants which fight to defend against pollutants reduce appearance of fine lines and improve firmness. The alpha hydroxy acids in this, which is the natural exfoliator, fight to brighten the skin and increase skin turnover to show off fresh skin. So they even say on their website, even if you don't have acne, this mask will be great for exfoliating, softening, brightening, and toning skin. Also something to note about this mask is that it is made without parabens, sulfates, silicones, dyes, and fragrance or animal derived ingredients. So it says you can use this mask up to three times a week and it says or you can use it to once a week if you want to maintain results but you don't have to use it three times a week but the more you use it the more you're going to see results obviously don't overuse it because it is an exfoliating mask but it says you can use it up to three times a week i normally do not use it that often but um, if you want to really see results you want to at least use it one time a week that's what they say or move to once a week to maintain results i actually haven't used this mask in a while to be honest but i am doing this review because i have used this before and i do know my thoughts on it and and I just kind of haven't used it in a while. I've just been like using other masks recently, but I definitely want to start using this again because this one is so great if you do have acne marks or acne scars. This is great for helping to reduce the appearance of those and just using an exfoliating mask is really great for lessening the pigmentation of those marks. So I want to start using it more because I do have a lot of marks left over from past acne. Um, so yeah, but overall my thoughts on this is that I really, really like it. I think it works really well. Once you remove it, you're definitely going to feel the difference. You're going to feel that your skin feels softer and smoother and it might even look more even toned. Um, obviously after one use with any skincare product, it's not like you're going to necessarily see like a drastic change in one use. It get, it takes time for your skin to really get used to a product it's kind of like a workout before your skin, I would like to say. I heard somebody say that before. I don't remember who told me that. Um, it was another skincare brand saying how, like, I think it was Halo Skincare. Like, skincare is a workout for your skin. You're, you know, you have to use the products consistently in order to see results. Like, with a workout, you have to work out consistently in order to see results. Um... So yeah, but when you do use this consistently, I can definitely say that you should probably see some results in it reducing the appearance of any hyperpigmentation that you might have. Um, if you don't have any hyperpigmentation, I still think that this can kind of help to promote a more even skin tone and it's going to make your skin feel more soft and smooth. So if you have acne or acne marks, or even if you don't have acne or acne marks, I still think that this is a mask that you can benefit from um, and that you might might enjoy. The one downside to this one I think is removing it. It's not a bad 
downside really it's not really that big of a deal um, but it is a little bit of a pain to remove not that difficult it's just because it kind of is like a little gooey when you go to re remove it because you have to remember this is using pumpkin enzymes so you know it gets a little bit gooey when you're like removing it um, re removing it just with water I feel like it's a little bit difficult so I do like to use a cloth just use a cloth to help you remove it with the water. You don't have to use like a cleanser or anything. Um, but just using a cloth really helps to get it off of your face. So yeah, that's what it looks like on your face. I know it looks a little gross <laughs> when it's on your face, but it gives some good results. So hey, it's worth it. If you're just chilling in your house, then why not? Um, I'll also just insert a little clip after I remove this so you guys can see what my skin looks like normally my skin looks a little bit like red or pink after I remove it and that's because it's exfoliating um so I'm going to let this sit on my face for a little bit longer and then I will film a little clip here to show you guys what my skin looks like afterwards oh also, if you guys do decide that this is a mask that you want to purchase, I do have a discount code that will give you some money off of this. The code is either DannyRB or Routine Beauty. You can use either one of those codes. They should both be active. Um, if one of them doesn't work, try the other one. Um, but those are both codes that you guys can use to get money off of Banish. It doesn't have to be just this mask either. It's anything from Banish. They also have a microneedling tool that I really, really like. I've actually done a video about that a while back. I want to do another video about that and show results because I do have quite a bit of acne marks right now um, that I'm trying to get rid of. So I think I want to start using that more consistently. So I'm thinking I might do a video about that as well. Um, let me know if that interests you guys at all. Also, I almost forgot to tell you how long you're supposed to keep it on for. So you're supposed to keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so I've got my cold washcloth and I'm just going to remove this. And see, like it comes off easily. It's just gooey, so I shouldn't say that it's difficult to remove. It just, like, it's just, it just gets gooey, I guess, like when you're removing it, but it's not hard to remove. But that's just, just gooey because it's pumpkin enzymes, you know? And then, as you can see, like, there's a little bit of pinkness to my skin now, but that'll go away pretty quickly. But, yeah, it's easy to remove. And I can already feel how soft my skin feels. It feels so nice, so soft. And then just pop on some moisturizer afterwards. Make sure your skin is nicely moisturized. And then you're good to go. So there's my skin afterwards. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just, it's much smoother. It feels soft. It feels really nice and refreshed. So there it is. This is what my skin looks like afterwards, obviously. I mean, I still have a lot of acne marks. It's going to take time for those to heal. If you use it consistently, you should be able to tell that those acne marks are going away. Um, but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys do want to see even more content from me in the future, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to see any other like acne or skincare related videos, definitely check out my acne playlist. I have two acne playlists. I have one called just my acne videos playlist. And then I also have another one called my acne journey series playlist so if you guys want to hear more about that or just see more acne related videos see what I've been doing for my skin my skin was actually way worse than this actually 95% too of what you're seeing on my skin right now is leftover acne marks I have come a long way with my skin and that is actually because of my functional practitioner but and who has helped me heal my skin from the root cause naturally through natural things like diet supplements and exercise and things like that so if you guys do want to hear more about that definitely check out my acne journey series playlist but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up but thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all for my next video bye guys